Hey guys, this is Brian here from Kayla Run with a tutorial on how to set up the Evo VR um, Pro Level Gaming Controller. Now, this is a controller for mobile phones. You can play games on your phone with this controller. Um, it works for both Apple and Android devices, but the setup can be kind of confusing. I found a lot of people that were having difficulty setting it up on their phones, and so I wanted to make a very short and snappy tutorial on how to do it and how to troubleshoot through some of the problems. So the first thing you need to know is how to set it up. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your device is fully charged. And by device, I mean the, the controller. And then if you have an Apple device, what you need to do is hold down this Evo VR button and the B button at the same time. And you'll see the home button start to flash rapidly. And if you have an iPhone, then you go to your Bluetooth settings and this device should pop up. It'll be Evo VR in your Bluetooth. Now if you have an Android device, it's the same deal except instead of B, you press X. So you'd hold down this button and the X button again and it would um, start flashing the same way and then it would connect to your Android device. You go to the Bluetooth settings once again and you can set it up from there. That's the more simple part, but the more complex part is actually getting the controller to work. There's some games that it works with right out of the box and some games that it gives you a little bit more trouble on. Now this is Minecraft. <laughs> I'm going to show you some Minecraft stuff just simply because it's a game that works with a controller that a lot of people have. And so if I connect the controller initially, right now no matter what I press, nothing's happening. And that's not quite what we want. This can come from connecting your controller incorrectly. One way that you can make sure that your controller is connected properly is if you press the correct buttons when setting it up. If you did that and it's still having problems, then follow what I do next. If your device is still giving you problems, then the next thing that you should do is flip your controller over and right here on the back is this little hole that hopefully you can see pretty good. So what you do is you get like a paper clip or a needle and you can poke in there and it'll restart your controller. It'll do like a factory reboot on it. And try that a couple of times, reconnect it, and hopefully it should start working. When I set up my controller, that's what I had to do. Initially, when I set my controller up, I'd press any button and it, it would input three random letters into a search bar. So that's nothing like I wanted to do. So let me show you what it looks like when your controller is set up properly. Now this is still the Minecraft Pocket Edition, but you can see all of the touch buttons are gone. And I can move around freely with my controller now. You can hear the clicking of the buttons as I do things. And the game works great now. It works for a lot of other games, all of the Google Cardboard games. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Hopefully that helped you get rid of any problems and be able to set up your controller so that you can use it. For games yourself. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure that you subscribe. This has been a Kaleran tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.